Hello, welcome back to Project Hercules Diaries on what is a beautiful spring morning and rather than go to use the teleport to get to the shed I'm going to walk to the shed because I just need to collect one part in order to fit the head back to the bike While I'm walking, a just quick uh, note of thanks to everybody that's commented recently There's been a flurry of sort of new followers and uh, ad a deluge of, of comments all positive lots of encouragement there and it's really kind of buoyed me up and spurred me on so thank you to everyone that's made a comment i do really appreciate it and uh, keep them coming because we've also had some good ideas so this is the normal route to the shed when i'm not doing the teleport and uh, i have to put the the widget in to stop the stop the door from blowing shut very high tech in here you know right okay let's get these lights on Boom, 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 there we go. And on the other side of the shed, in the other corner, there is the box with all the jigs and the fittings that we've made. Uh, it reminds me, I really should sort that shaper out because it doesn't work and I would like to get it operational. It needs a motor and it also needs a light above it because that one's gone out. That's what you get for buying cheap Chinese um, stuff off eBay. <laughs> it doesn't always work or it, so it works but it doesn't last. So this is the part we need in the box with the jigs and the fittings. Um, is the special tool that we made to pull the rings into the cylinder head before we drop the head into the engine and then they expand again inside the sleeve. I'll show you how that works in just a moment back in the garage. But I am gonna teleport to the garage because uh, it's probably not the best thing to watch on the videos of me walking through the garden. See you in a two chickens. So here we are back in the garage, just come in, let's wait for the door to close. There we go, fantastic. Come really must all that hinge right two ticks later here we are in the garage and this is where the other magic happens so I've got our tool here that we just rescued from the other shed and it is for the cylinder head so this is the head upside down I've put one of the rings on which should be at least 95 of the 95 percent of the compression on the first ring so we'll oil up the ring we fit this over the top of the head and then we tighten it down and that squashes the ring into the head then we put the whole assembly onto with, with that on the bottom that that lip there onto the top of the uh, engine like that and what happens is this goes inside and it drops down that gap there so that the sleeve is at top dead center so this this ring uh, compressor goes down so it's level with the sleeve so that when we push the head on the ring doesn't pop out here into that groove because if it did pop out there and then we continue to push down it would just snap the ring because it won't go past that lip which is the uh, sleeve you can see how thin the wall of the sleeve is it's an amazing bit of engineering from bristol to make the thing in the first place without having them crack and i know that that was a challenge back in the 30s so that's the tool i needed so i'm going to do that now and then drop the engine in we have a long weekend bank holiday here in the uk these are the nuts to hold it on uh, so we might get a fair bit done but i also have to paint the bedroom and i may have to get my mum out of hospital as well which would be great news to get her home so uh, a fair bit of other stuff outside of project hercules going on this weekend um but that's where we're at right now this second so as usual thank you for watching and particularly thank you for all the comments really do appreciate those it's, it's made me day so to speak uh final thing if you're wondering what this is for well it's just uh, a small little um handy little hint and, and tip if you get uh, if you don't have this on and you get working down there, when you stand up quite often you whack your head on the handlebars because you forget it's there. And of course the handlebars are not always in the same place because you can move them and you can move the wheel. So to get around the problem, just tie a bit of rag on it and as you start to stand up, you feel that on the back of your neck and you realise that if you continue, you're going to bash your head and it saves you um, looking like uh, an old bald man with them. Um, little scab on the top it's quite common that isn't it so um there we go that's where we're at a little bit of uh, uh, rambling just off of the tangent there but why not it's that kind of day isn't it as usual thank you for watching thank you for the comments more updates will follow